I want you to imagine that God has said to you, you are to be on a very strict diet, no chocolate. And here's a piece of chocolate cake. I mean, it's, I mean, it's like unbelievable, decadent, wicked chocolate. And, and so you happen to be in Costco. <laughs> Temptation. Oh, I want that chocolate. I want that chocolate. Are you giving out samples? Yes, would you like one? You're just tempted. You love chocolate. It's, it's a besetting sin. No, no. Then you come down another aisle. <laughs> right? Okay? You're tempted. You haven't sinned. It just means there's something that attracts you to make you want to do something that in this particular case, you know for sure is not God's will. It won't be good for you. Now, sin has just occurred. Now, I use chocolate cake because it's very benign. For some in this room, your besetting sin is not chocolate, it's pornography. And you look for times to privately log on. For others, it's shopping. And every time you feel a little blue, you're tempted to go spend money you don't have and charge things. And by the way, every besetting sin is always covered by something called lying. And that's what, that's what the, the, the bigger thing that happens. Then pretty soon, this discrepancy, because when we do things we know are wrong, then these facades and lies come up. He says, there isn't a temptation. And the lies are, this is just mine. It's unique. It's my family background. It's the way I'm wired. I can't help myself. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Not true. There is faithfulness that can allow you to break free from that. Because if you don't get real and if you don't own it, if you don't say, that's my chocolate, that's my besetting sin, that's my struggle, and there's a way out, then you don't change. And, and, and then you receive the consequences of your behavior, and it breaks your Heavenly Father's heart. But even when you blow it, when you sin, here's God's faithfulness. If you confess your sin, 1 John 1, 9, He is, are you ready? Here's our word, faithful and just to forgive you your sin, and not just that, but to cleanse you from all unrighteousness. I'm faithful. I'll help you in your weakness. I'll help you when you're tempted. When you are biting the chocolate like this, if you'll come clean and say, oh God, I agree with you. That's what the word confess means. I agree with you. This is wrong. Would you forgive me? Jesus said, well, that's why I died, and I want to forgive you, and I want to cleanse you, and I want to put you on a new path. In fact, it gets so radical. This is a God that I don't think most Christians know, but all of us, let me ask you, what's your piece of chocolate cake look like? What do you struggle with?